Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim and I haven't uploaded a video in a while. So this is normally where I would put my intro but I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I don't really feel like editing this video too much so it's gonna be a little bit all over the place. I'm probably gonna misspeak a couple times but I just want to kind of do this video and upload it to YouTube and let it be what it is. Um, yeah, I haven't uploaded a video in about two months, which is kind of a bummer because Halloween is like my favorite time of year and I love making spooky content for this channel. I had a whole bunch of plans, going to Horror Nights, doing more Scaredy Cat Reacts, um, trying a bunch of pumpkin spice food, which I actually did film that video and I'm gonna try to get that uploaded by Thanksgiving. Um, just because I don't want it to go to waste. I bought a bunch of food, I ate a bunch of food, I filmed it, I might as well upload it. Um, but the last couple months have been kind of crazy. Um, as you can tell, I'm still in the Halloween spirit. I've kind of just been too lazy and busy to take all of these decorations down, but hopefully by the next video, um, it'll be Christmasified for your viewing pleasure zero days till Halloween um, but yeah I didn't really get a chance to film I set up this whole corner we got all my decorations and I, I never filmed anything I want to do an end of year recap video so I don't want to talk too too much detail about um, what's been going on the last couple months but I'll hit the main points you know obviously it was Halloween so I was doing all the spooky celebrating there. Um, I was in my friend's wedding. I did a cross-country road trip. I went uh, to Delaware to see some bands that I really love. And most importantly, by the title of the video, I had back surgery. <laughs> so I have been recovering from that for the last maybe three and a half weeks. It'll be four weeks next Wednesday. But yeah, I've been having back pain for about two years now, and I didn't think anything of it until um, it lasted, like, a long time. I'm not somebody who goes to the doctor, like, a lot, so um, <clears throat> I, didn't, I didn't think anything of it until it lasted, like, months, right? So... I finally went to the doctor, found out that I had a slipped disc on my, what is it, L5S1. So that's like all the way down at the base. And they were like, yeah, it's, it's pinching your sciatic nerve and it's causing a lot of pain. That's going down your right leg. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. That's exactly what's happening. That sounds correct. <laughs> so I went in at the beginning of this year and I did an epidural shot. It's a steroid injection into your spine where they um, help, it helps the inflammation of the disc so that it will stop uh, pinching your nerve. And for about a month and a half, everything was great. I didn't have any pain. There was nothing. It was perfect. But then the pain came back. I guess the drug wore off, the inflammation came back, and once again, I was back in pain where I started. So um, then I ended up having to see a different doctor because my insurance didn't cover the original doctor, and he sent me to physical therapy for about a month. I think that ended up just exacerbating the problem. So um, yeah, the pain kind of got worse after physical therapy, so don't recommend that. Um, I'm not a doctor though, so don't listen to me, but, um, and then I did another epidural steroid injection and that gave me no relief this time, which is normal as I've been researching all along the way, just trying to figure out what the best course of action was. And finally they were like, congratulations, you need back surgery. So they went in, they removed the disc. And I've just kind of been slowly healing ever since. It, uh, you can't really do a lot of movement. I've just, you know, slowly been getting up and walking more and, you know, being more active. But a lot of time is still spent laying in bed. 
um, giving my back relief because even sitting here is putting a lot of pressure on the area. So, um, yeah, it's not been it's not been fun, but I've already started to feel like improvement, even though there is still pain when I'm like sitting that's expected it's been three weeks since back surgery but yeah I don't know it's just been it's been crazy because even when I was like in the hospital they were like oh you're getting back surgery and you're only 32 and I'm like yeah and they're like did you have an accident did were you in a car accident did you fall and I was like honestly no I don't know what happened you know one night um, I do sit for work so I think maybe just you know, a combination of sitting for 10 hours a day in front of my computer at work um, with minimal breaks for about five, six years now. I think that just like did it, you know? I think that was just, I think it weakened something and then one day I pulled it and that was that. So I don't know what the cause was, but I know what the solution was. Um, so I've been off work this whole time, um, mostly doing, um, for the last three weeks, um, cross stitching, just lots of stitches. Nothing new has been hung up since I think I've last filmed here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know. I went, I, I get comments sometimes on my videos and I get emails when I get comments and I try to reply to everybody. So I had gotten a comment on one of my old videos, um, like maybe a week ago. And then I was like, oh yeah, I haven't uploaded a while. So I went and I just checked out the channel because I don't really check out the channel that often. Um, once I upload a video, I just let it be what it is because I don't want to like have my worth determined by subscriber count and stuff that... It's just too much pressure for me. So, but I checked and I have 200 subscribers. Somehow, despite not posting in like two months, I still have 200 subscribers I've been gaining. And, you know, that's not like a huge number in terms of like YouTube, but to me, that's like a huge number. And I think that's awesome. So I wanted to make this video as like a sort of update, a bit of bit of a rambling mess of a video, sorry about that. Usually I'm much more, you know, on the ball with editing and stuff. I just have, I kind of fell out of love and like I said, I've been kind of busy, so I haven't really felt like making videos lately, but I got inspired. I saw 200, I was like, I should make a video. And I'm hoping that this video will encourage me to make future videos. I do have some ideas. Like I said, I have a pre-recorded from before Halloween. Um, I filmed an eating video, so I want to try that. I was thinking I might um, do another Scaredy Cat Reacts video. Those seem to do really well. Um, the new, the British um, cafe place near me just got a bunch of their like Christmas foods. And so I was thinking maybe I'll try to make a video where I, what's it matter? My dog's in my room, sorry. Um, <clears throat> I will try to make a video where I try British holiday foods, maybe. Um, I'm going on vacation in a couple of weeks to Tennessee, so I'm thinking might blog, uh, I might vlog that. I'm really bad at vlogging, but I might give it a try. Um, and then an end of year sort of wrap up video where I talk about everything the past year has taught me, everything I've accomplished, everything I've done, and what the future holds. So, um, yeah, so <laughs> sorry that this video has been <sighs> really kind of all over the place and um, I hope you do stick around. I really appreciate all of you guys sticking around, subscribing, commenting, watching, liking, all of that good stuff. And if you want to uh, see more in the future and you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video and leave me a comment. Let me know how you're, you've been doing the last couple of um, months. I missed you all and I'm hoping to get back into this um, really soon. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would usually put an outro here, but I'm not going to. 
So I'll just say bye. I'll see you next time. Should be pretty soon. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!